All right, let's make a custom brush that looks like a like an actual pen. And then stick around to the end. I got a surprise for you, a little gift. Okay, so what the blue lines represent is the size of a pen in Clip Studio Paint that matches the size that I drew. Now this is a line I drew with a ruler and a fiber casto pen, size fine. So what I'm going to do is make a custom brush that repeats this line over and over and over as you draw. And we're going to adjust the pressure sensitivity and whatnot to get it to look kind of like the way the pen works in the real world. So in order to do that, we need to make this into a, see, I have to leave the recording size, the, the recording screen into a material. We'll go there in a second. But what's important is that if you're going to make a brush that repeats itself, it's going to be called like a ribbon. But that's in the options for when we make the brush. So in a minute, I'll show you what I mean. First, we need to, I like to draw a, a guide. And let's just put it at the bottom of this line. And you'll see, because again, this end needs to line up perfectly with this end. And right now, this is on the purple line, on the purple guide, and this one is not. So what I'm going to do is go to that layer. I'm going to select that line and I'm gonna make a copy and paste it right back in okay so with that done what we do need is just this and I don't know if you know this or not but if you go to edit convert brightness to opacity it'll take the brightest part of your file your layer I mean it'll then remove the white and make it opacity so that it's you just have the black line Turn back that guide, and with the new layer, just the pen line I drew, I'm going to try and get it so that it lines up from one end to the other. I might not be describing it properly, but once I do it, you'll see what I mean. I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a little plus in there. That's the pivot point. That's the anchor. So whatever I do will happen there. If I shrink it, it'll shrink to that down to that center. If I rotate it, it'll rotate at that point. So if you click, you drag it to the end, so it snaps onto that ruler, that should be good. Then when I come down here and I rotate, it rotates on that pivot point. And if I can just drop it down, now it's touching, okay. If I were to take this line and put it over back to back, it should line up. So let's see if it lines up. Yes, so that means that every line you draw, it'll continue to repeat that over and over. But we don't need that one right now. So if I were to just you know, hold down Command or Control and just select that and go to edit material register material image you get this let's just call this real pen it's creative and then click use for brush tip shape don't need to worry about tiling and you go to register materials. I like to put this with brush. And then it's asking you, and you always got to do this, you got to give it a tag so you don't forget where it is. Real pen tool. That'll be good. So now when you search your materials, and I have tons of materials, I, I make pens all the time. Sometimes I don't even use them because I was trying out an idea. Okay, so with that, I'm just going to turn that off and go to just my regular ink layer. Now, to make a pen, you take an existing pen and you can duplicate it, which I'm going to do with the felt pen. 
and that's this button right here. You can't see it because it goes off my screen, my recording screen, but it's create a copy. You can rename it. Let's keep everything consistent. Real pen, click OK, and it goes to the very bottom. So you have your real pen selected. You hit the wrench, which gives you the options for the subtool. And let me see here, you go to brush tip, click on material, click right here, add brush tip shape, and search what you just created, real pen, right there, user tag, real pen 2, there we go. Click OK. And that doesn't look right because it's it's just going to, here, let me move this over here, which is great. What, what's great is as you work on your, your custom tool or whatever you're doing, you can test it right here and you can see how it's working. Clearly that's not right. If I'm going to do a ribbon, you go to stroke. And what a ribbon does is it repeats it in a line. Right now it's not working because it's not in the correct orientation. So in order to figure out which one that is, right now it's this way. Let's try changing that to 90. All right, so once you've done that, you've got this line, this pen that just keeps drawing, and it just keeps repeating, just keeps repeating that pattern that we put in there that was drawn from an actual art pen. And what's nice is it has that broken edge um, you probably don't notice it but that's what it's like unlike that straight clean crisp digital edge this has a just a little bit more realism to it but we can add a little bit more to it because you know if you use these these real pens on artboard when you go really fast it has a it does have a little bit of pressure sensitivity when you're using a pen so we're going to try to simulate that here uh, let me see. I think you go to let's try thickness, pen pressure, sensitivity quite a bit. So let's see if we can because when you go really fast with one of these these pens, try to get a, a sharp crisp point, you don't really get that. Maybe with a, a crow quill you do with a with a brush, yes, but not always with a pen. So let's see if we can adjust that with a minimum. That's a little better. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, maybe a little bit more. There we go. See, brush stroke. Let's see if we can do something with the velocity. and. See, that's a little too much. Because you know how you go really fast with a pen and you stop, you get the thick, like a dot, and then, you know, the pen. We're trying to simulate that. Let's see if I go 90, what that does. Okay, not enough. So let's try, let's try 53, just for the heck of it. Ooh, that's better. But still, if you go as slow, like you do with an art pen, you'll still get that line. But if you go fast, it'll taper off. Okay. That looks good. And that's under brush size. Yeah. This is a nice little pen. You know, good for... You could ink... You know, anything with this depends on your style, background or inanimate objects, buildings, cars, you know, just whatever. Just as if you were using a real micron pen or a fiber castle or whatever. Um, that's it. So the gift is, the surprise is, this pen will be available for free in my Gumroad shop. Um, it does have an option if you, you know, you want to leave me a little something. That'd be great. You don't have to. You can just put zero in the uh, in the amount and download it for free. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. All right. Well, thanks very much and see you in the next video.